Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridge Tech with another flashlight review, this time from Nikkor. Now this here is their EDC-27. Now this is an all new, brand new light. Now they just got the packaging, so I was able to get a release candidate. Otherwise, I've had this for a while, and uh, it's nice to be able to release it when the light is ready for pre-order. Very nice to get these ahead of time and do somewhat a early sneak peek of their lights. And uh, comes in this box. Now they wanted me to test and review it, show it to you guys here on my channel. So let's wait no further. Let's open it up, see what's in. Now this is definitely a unique design for Nikkor. We have one user manual. Now they don't even have this on their website. So I'm gonna have to show you the specs the best I can. Now this does have a light output of 3000 lumens on turbo, which is only momentary. It does have a countdown for it. Need more time to read those. Pause that stream. Otherwise, we're gonna move along. Warranty card. And we got one lanyard here. USB type C charging cable. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the light. Now I'm not a huge fan of these molded plastics, but it made it here without any blemishes. There it is. Really nice clip on here. Definitely made for deep pocket carry. It's got some uh, grip sides here. Either way you want to hold it. Even a little bit of a tactical feel to it because there are tail switches on here. So those come in handy. Got your power switch, mode switch. Now this here is an OLED display. Does have a flat black finish and it is smooth but it does have a little bit of a roughness to it now the style and design on this is very nice no issues there This is removable. And the machining and finish on this is very nice. Yeah, that is very nice. Now it does have some special optics here on the dual LED design. Now behind the special optics are two luminous SST40 LEDs. 
So that's going to really give it a flood beam performance. Either way you have it, if you hold it like this, you can hold it like that. Comfortable. Definitely. Now it may be a little too long for everyday carry, but definitely is lightweight. It's not too terribly heavy. Okay, well normally I would open it up and show you the insides, but this one here is a sealed unit. Now the push of this power switch turns on, shows you the display, shows you how many hours it will run at this light output. It's a long time. Now we can go through the light outputs by half pressing, show you the light output hours that they can run at this light output. Do it again. That light output. That light output there. It's a lot of light output actually. And then we're right back down to the lowest light output. Now if you do want the highest output that this light can do, you can simply half press the mode switch. Now if you push it too hard, it will go to a strobe. And that is a tactical strobe. <laughs> and that is distracting. And I'm going to remove plastic piece here before I forget. Alright, so now we're going to show you the light outputs here again using the power switch. Just half press on that. Easily go through those light outputs. Okay, as you can see there, a lot of light output there. Definitely is more of a floodlight. Either way you turn it, still going to have a good beam. Turn it off. Turn it back on. It does have memory mode. So we just half press again. Half press it on that. Now from off, you can half press the mode switch to get to 3000 lumens. Terribly bright. <laughs> Impressive for this. Also you do have strobe ready from off. Press down and hold all the way. And release. That is incredible. Now this here on the tip of the light is pretty warm here. Not too bad, but that is nice to know that it is getting warm here and not the rest of the light where you're going to be holding it either way. So now we're going to go over the display one more time so we can make sure that you can see it at any time you can half press it I can do it again show you the battery level and then once you turn it on it tells you how long it'll run at those particular light outputs turbo of course does have that countdown like I was telling you before and you don't need it for that long period of time it'll automatically cycle it down that will drain the battery quicker now if you do want to lock this out you turn it on now we're going to the different levels you've got stage one and stage two now right now nothing works so that's your stage two so we're going to press down and hold we're going to unlock the light now the light is unlocked. So now we're going to just do stage one. That's stage one. So now with stage one, the light will not turn on itself, but the turbo does and strobe. 
See that? So if you want to turn off that other ability, you can do so. And then we're going to press and hold to unlock it again. Now it's unlocked. Now we're going to lock it again. And now that changed to two. Now nothing works and the light is completely locked out. You only have to display that comes on momentarily. And that's all there is to this light. Pretty straightforward on the light and its features. And uh, does get a little toasty here on the head. Not too bad. Pretty warm there. But uh, definitely a different concept and unique idea from Nikkor. And I'm liking it. Almost carry it like a pen light. It's going to take about the thickness of two pens together. All right. Well, let's wait no further. Let's take this EDC 27 outside. See how it does in the wilderness. We are out here in the darkness with the Nikkor EDC 27. All new, brand new, soon to be released. Let's go ahead and get started and we do have on the lowest setting real floody had some really bad storms here last month first time I'm able to get out and do some night shots water spout there 38 feet this lowest light output's got some pretty good range on it. It is flood. Let's go to the next level here. See how it does. There's the next level. I have to remember to half press it. Still does well. Easily see all the different colors, so it's got a good Kelvin rating. Just want to show you that a lot of junk here from the storms. Water spout again, 38 feet. That's some pretty good range for this type of beam. Sixty-five feet there to that tree. Let's go to the next level, see how it does. Seeing sixty-five feet there better. It is now making faintly a tree of life. Now a thousand lumens on this is actually pretty impressive. Let's go over here and do a thousand lumens, see how it does. See what I mean? Very nice beam coverage. Plenty of light output for most applications. Seeing the tree of light there a little bit better. No leaves on it anymore. So now we'll go ahead and do turbo here a few times, see how it does. Now we'll go ahead and do turbo here a few times, see how it does. Look at that. Now this will count down and shut down, but it is super cold out here. We'll do it again over here. You can continuously do it 
but the battery will wear down quite quickly and we'll do it again over here a lot of light output <laughs> do it one more time doing a beam profile and again thousand lumens right there is plenty One more time on turbo before we say goodnight. Famous tree of life. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. Impressive beam performance for this type of beam. Flood beams are not going to have a huge ability to throw out and into the distance but this here sh shines up a huge area in front of you definitely good for walking the dog everyday carry on you as a emergency light definitely is an impressive the 3000 lumens is a lot of light you do have it even after the countdown you can use it over and over and over but you definitely want to wait in between to let that light the head of the light cool down quite a bit but even on the lower light outputs the regular UI plenty of light comes out of here for most applications in my opinion the OLED display very nice more of eye candy but definitely a lot of information that's on there so you know what your battery level is or that it is locked out so very nice, easy to carry this pretty much in your shirt pocket, in your pant pocket. It's thin enough. It's not going to be uncomfortable to wear with just about anything. And uh, rock solid build quality on this. Now the batteries are internal, but uh, Nightcore was telling me that the batteries that they use here are the LifePo 04 batteries. And... Uh, they're supposed to have really long life and supposed to be a lot safer than your traditional lithium cells. But other than that, I really enjoyed this. This looks really nice. I'm not seeing any issues there. And uh, so it's impressive. I have some piece of plastic here clipping back at me here from the screen protector for the LEDs. And, uh, but other than that, it's, it's really a nice quality light. Performs really well. It's going to give you that flood beam. Great for EDC, in my opinion. It is a little long, but uh, not unmanageable by any means. All right, well, I want to thank Nightcore for sending me this all new, brand new model from them. Soon to be released as well. Now, you can pre order this using my link down below including my special discount code that will help you save some money on this light. This is a complete kit, just in case you're interested in getting it. Well, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this new product review from Nightcore. If you did, hit that thanks button, donate to my channel if you wish, or please share, like, and subscribe. That way can bring more of these all new flashlight sneak peeks to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care.